Oh, I am Wolfie Bain, your host for today, and we are going to be playing some Witcher 3 Game of the Year, Blood and Wine, once again. Now, how is everybody doing today? Because I am doing great, to say the least. Caught uh, th the three episodes of anime I was watching last night, which were awesome. Shield Heroes! Still doing fantastically. It's coming towards the end of the series. Uh, it's still going amazingly. And I've got a theory about the two new characters that ca that were introduced. Got a theory about them. I won't say what it is yet because I'm pretty sure I'm right. But yeah. I had a proper drink. Right, okay. Now then. Going to this. Yeah, I'm, be I'm being very careful about OBS today because last week, OBS just wouldn't work at all on my Thursday show. Like, it just didn't. So I'm being very, very careful before I actually start this up properly and we actually get into the game. The OBS is working. Frames are holding okay. Audio appears to be working. The amount of power it's using seems to be stable. Okay. Let's start. I can natter more about what I've been doing. There today. It started up the Tiny Tina DLC on um, Borderlands. And I'm finally uh, getting a buddy to help me out beating the Leviathan on uh, the Pirate Booty one. The Leviathan is just like the perfect character Krieg, it seems. I can't get close to it. It seems... I don't know if it's got a damage reduction or if it's got a really specific hitbox for Krieg's axes. But it was just not really taking damage from it, which is just really irritating. There. I had a pretty good shot at one of the raid bosses. I uh, got... Going to about half health before he caught me out. So... Feeling alright, considering that he was... Skull level to me, and all his minions were. Uh, I think I did alright. It was definitely too early to do it properly, though. It was level 48. I think you're supposed to be level 50 before you try and take on the raid bosses. Because they're level 52. So. With a 4 level disadvantage, I felt kind of proud of myself. Okay, so we are at Corvo Bianco. I generally don't remember what I was doing. Let's take a look at quests. Because this was two weeks ago since I didn't, I couldn't do last week because OBS broke. What secondaries do I have? I have Night for Hire. Eh. I should do the Gwent Tournament. And Fist of Fury. Witcher Contracts of Dunham. Treasure Hunts. You have a lot of treasure hunts. But most of the treasure hunts aren't really a thing. So let's do the Knights for Hire. I will say my house is looking pretty kick-ass right now. I guess I can't gallop here. Come on. A 
I've forgotten how to ride a horse in this game. Go, go. There we go. No, I have remembered. It just Jerry wasn't letting me even, even trot. Okay, complete all these contracts. So there's probably quite there's quite a lot of them. So we should keep it going for a while. Yeah, how's everybody doing? Cause I'm having a lot of fun. Hey, yeah. I'm almost getting to the point where I want, where I'm getting to do the uh, main quest line in Borderline, which is so far quite interesting. I love all the side quests though. The side quests have been fantastic so far. And they give me a shit ton of levels, which is always nice. I'm a big fan of getting pretty much every side quest. Out of the way. Stocks and the whip await those running riot. I have no idea what he just said. I'm always a big fan of getting getting pretty much all the side quests that I feel like doing out of the way before doing the main quest. Uh, well, the other person thinks that apparently for the Witcher that's just a really good way of doing it. I went the wrong way. I was looking at text. Run, Roach. <laughs> yes, there is trouble. I'll give you that. Well, I, I always like. Apparently, that's a good thing in The Witcher because the Witcher quests don't give you a lot of. Apparently, the side quests in The Witcher don't give you a ton of XP, which I have been noticing. They don't give very much. Uh, but if you do them after the main story sections, they'll be kind of boring because there won't be any challenge to them. Admittedly, there's barely any challenge to most of these side quests for me anyway because I think I've picked a really broken fighting. Technique in this game. <laughs> the guard brings peace to our domains. It's a thing that pretty much no real. Dif there's not much difficulty increase will Come do on, other than just make it slightly. T just take longer because it'll be just one shot by things instead of. Uh... <laughs> instead of like having any actual challenge to it, it'll just be the enemy's one shot me. If there's different moves and things, it's not too bad. But I doubt. It's got a different move set for most of these creatures. Most of the creatures that would be neat. <sighs> also, just got it confirmed uh, last night that there's another season of Iskai Quartet that's going to be coming out, which I am really looking forward to. Apparently, they're adding another uh, series as well, which has got a lot of people thinking of what it will be. Again, my prediction. Um, a buddy of mine tells me that uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime is by a different company. Oh, hello. So I doubt it will be that. I do think Shield Hero has got a fair bit. I mean, it's got Quintet, though, admittedly, but. But if there's one, I think it's likely to be Shield Hero because everyone's still thinking about it. Uh, one that would be very cool, um, which he suggested, which uh, I really hope gets added in as well, but I don't think it will because it's one, not really old, and two. Uh, not that recent would be um, no game no life although another one that would fit pretty well would be uh, but I don't remember who made it would be the uh, what was it called the smartphone one 
which I really enjoyed again. Apparently, I've got a, I've got two points. Damn. I got an achievement. Fate of Bloodella Sword displays in a bit of some speech. The melee combat quiz is tapped by the blood flow for my ends. That's 250%. Both of us do take damage. Damn. Start combat intensity for 30 seconds. Once it wears off, switch out the drop by 10% intensity for after the first. Okay. Piercing cold. What does this one do? Infill of all the wool. Okay. Second life. What's this one? Great critical effects of poison and reduction. That might be worth getting just because of uh E improve your research mutations each stage lets additional ability slot. I just love Oh I get what that is. That is these, isn't it? Badass! Okay. So, two, four, six, and eight, I'm guessing. Hmm. Two, four, eight, twelve. Kind of weird, but it works up until twelve in that in that one. Okay, I guess it was double it and double it again. I'm going to save my hands. Watch your stones. My running isn't working anymore. Sprint is on my shift key, right? <laughs> oh, it's equals? Did I, check? Did I check? always have it on equals? I have played too many games. There we go. I played too many uh, shooters where I've just been going shift and expected to sprint. I forgot I had to. Why did I change it in this game? I bet it must have been. There must be something else that's on shift. I'm sorry, Panther. You were kind of badass looking, but. What the hell was that? Faster. 
Go on, Roach. Run, Roach. Let's find a way around this small hill. Single weapon, not really much of a threat. It's not those fire breathing weapons, so. What are the slizzards? Damn, I've got a feeling I'm forgetting about something. <laughs> I do like that that's their way of explaining how you, why you can't go past the edges of the world. I'll take my okay. I just sell some stuff. <coughs> ah, there's a boat. I've got the boat will be probably quicker in this particular case. One problem with Tucson I have is the giant lake. I mean it looks pretty as hell, but I give full credit where credit is due. The lake looks amazing, but <laughs> it's a bit irritating to navigate. looking place this I've got a feeling these particular missions will pay quite a bit I can't imagine it not paying very well I doubt it'll get me much experience because none of these are particularly challenging they're all kill like three enemies of either human or monster type but they are all like do a lot of missions well imagine at the end of it I'll get a few a few thousand I'm pretty high level so I can't really imagine it not Come here, Roach. <coughs> you go your way, I'll go mine. You go your way, I'll go mine. Okay? where there was the like farmhand that got eaten by a shelma let's go come on Rich. don't 
don't need to fight the panther. It's an innocent animal. So leave it alone. <coughs> That's all petrol. People are doing construction not far outside, so... It'll probably be that. Bunch of cars just going past. Yeah. <coughs> it's cough worthy. Certainly cough worthy. There we go. It's clearing up. So it is that way? Give it up. Okay. Strange. I don't think I've been particularly far this way. It turns out that I've been going to the furthest one away. I won't be too surprised if there was a bunch closer. I just assumed that this was the closest one because it's selected automatically, but very well might not be. It's getting shittier and shittier. Ow. This is the Wyvern Peak, isn't it? More than those Slitherzards were. Oh, let's see if it's something to do with this place over here. Come on now. Persons in distress. That's called people, I think. Groins, oh, hello, you're real. Shove my sword. Or need to repair my sword, probably more accurate. How much damage has he taken? 60%. Drop 40% from there. Get it back up to 90. Witcher, save me! driving me mad. So one of these guys is going to have a key on him then. Come back. Crowns. Thread. Thread. Mushrooms. Thread. Crowns. An onion. I'll take the onion. Can you just throw eat an onion in this game?
Ah, there it is. Ernest Scrawler's Scrawl. Let's have a read of this then. Soon it's near the top. Yep, yeah, there it is. Get us to this job until we drop. Killing mistakes that fail. So it could also work, but a good job would do. Cause it's a big belly. See, sniper on the left is the radar. Matt is like his back for a quarter of a life. Thank you. To like your job. Oh, they definitely deserve it then. You saved my life. I thank you. Should you need something, find me at the cockatrice. Oh, who the hell are you, anyway? You save my life. Oh, he's a merchant. Thank you. Should you need something, find me at the cockatrice. So I can't sell all this random crap that I've got right to you right now, can I? Garage. You're big. Oh, Kikimo. What the hell is this random Kikimo doing? That's a point, actually. That kind of is a proof of how powerful a Shellmar is. Because it kick eats Kikimos, right? Or they said, at least, in this particular one, it eats Kikimos. Um... So the Kikimo Warriors probably stand, will try and fight it off, right? And they're pretty big. What the hell? Here's the Banshee. Banshee, wasn't it? Beast Jury, it's not cursed one. Was in spirits? Is there a spirit section? Spectre, there we go. Banshee. Shriek, get yeah, a cry, you can know you're going to jump out to the dead man. Oh, gosh, it's going. Bench is a spirit of women stuck between life and death due to a drag. Experiences the whales and howls considered a love the imminent inevitable death. Protect me, living them some of a careful, pale tissue women who will face a look of corpse leaf bodies. And it's full of respect to them. And just straight killing it. I mean, that worked pretty well. Roach! Seem to be doing all right, to be honest. You saved my life. I shall never forget it. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> this all bodes very ill. Ah, everything always bodes ill. Does book less saddle bags better than mine? Doubtful. <laughs> to say the least, that is doubtful. Okay, 
Next up, we have some other random quest. Did the night errant in distress? Blood! Blood! <laughs> Circle him! Circle him! Stick! Sticking out of me. Oh, he's got another one of the bosses in it. Once you start what? An illusion. Where? Now in his eye, how to use it. Seen here ghosts. The home or horn. What do I do with the hell in his eye? Now that's damage dice. I have no idea what I did with it. Hmm. Oh, it's just a uh, press E on it. Got it. It isn't an item. Might as well see what's down here. Tower crystal. Damn it. Why do I go damn it? Oh hello. when all the enemies clump up together so you can just AOE them down. Witcher kills like 20 men in 30 seconds. Probably less than that actually. 20 men in like 10 seconds. Dogs, but you're apparently all really evil, so So I guess that power crystal was the reason to get through that illusion. These guys 
are actually kind of high level. Please repair my sword again. Unfortunate halberd use. That guy had a heart attack. That guy got shot by his friend. Come on, come closer. Damn it. Assuming there's another bandit lord guy. That I just have to beat the shit out of. I wonder if this one will be on with a shield again, make it slightly more annoying. Well, this guy certainly is. Give me a second. You all know what I wanted to do to him. I am burning through this sword's durability. Car attack the guys with the hammers, so I think that those are the ones that I do a shit ton more damage to now. They're kind of badass. Ah, Mr. Bandit. My goodness, how I enjoy a good bug for move. What just happened? I just blew up. I haven't saved yet, have I? Well, that's kind of convenient. Yeah.
Not your lucky day. Oh, you? Not good. Fall over from bleeding out. Okay, save game, so I'd have to just fight that particular weird guy again. And somewhere around here there's a bomb. How I enjoy your food. My goodness! How I enjoy a good bag for cheese! Prepared to be thoroughly flubberdack! You're not a complete fan! There we go. No hacks for you. Magic sorcery of some kind. Bye. Is that it? I have way too many of those night armors. I guess this is just clear out the entire castle. Well, wait. Yep, yeah, did it. I think that those guys being prisoners is a bit generous. I'm pretty sure I just killed everybody. There were no survivors. There should be a blacksmith in it, right? Aha! I just got a cool helmet. There's always something to be said about the good old-fashioned, like, pointed night helmets. Stocks and the whip await those running riot. Keep calm. Stocks, no pros. Master Witcher, might I have a moment, please? Yes? Just Most honoured Witcher, the slaughter of Filbert Fourfingers von Witten. Quite the feat. You've my respect and gratitude forever and always. He'd squatted in those ruins for months, him and that Hans of his. Whoever they captured alive lived to regret not having been cleaved in battle. Yeah. Managed to assemble a pretty good bunch of men. Refuse from all the world. Bandits, degenerates, drawn like flies to doo-doo. It's good you fell them to a man. You've my gratitude and good prices for all time here. Ah, thank you. Show me what you got. Because I can just sell I all advanced. the shit that I've picked up. I know that a couple of these actually have higher values than mine, but my gear is... Has so many abilities on it, I want to keep them. You got any armor repair kits or weapon repair kits? I haven't needed really many armor repair kits, but it's better to have them than not, right? Let's 
just repair everything. I'll repair that, why not? Yeah, this guy's not good enough to make the witcher gear, is he, so... Pretty well on the bandits. Seems the Hansa was prepared for a long siege. <coughs> oh, yes. The rats had woven quite the nest. Some knights errant took swipes at them, but cracked their claws on those ruins. Not surprised. Von Witten turned that rubble into a fortress, with a ballista in the lower courtyard, no less. I didn't see that. Well, that machine was most like there to fight off the winged lissats. A whole host live in these hills. Ah. Alert eye on the sky at all times, Witcher. It's good they do know that there are apparently Thanks. a lot of women in this your area. Master Witcher, might I have a moment, please? You, you already have. Long live Duquesa Anna Henrietta. Yes, long live the Duquess. I keep thinking, Duquess seems, still sounds weird to me. I thought it was, I keep thinking it is, it is Duchess normally, right? Come on, Roach. But is Duquesa a different rank from Duchess? Imagine it's just a, where they are. This place is based on Italy, I believe. Don't quote me on that. There's a lot of very Italian stuff in here. It looks kind of like Italy. From like the one time I think I went through Italy. where I was going but I believe I've been on a train through Italy once and I was going somewhere else but it was I believe it was. God for life of me remember how, why or when quite a few years ago though I've been to quite a few places in Europe a lot of Europe is really nice like I've been to Portugal which was fantastic I've been to Spain which was awesome France was damn good as well. What now? Oh, I just realized you're a werewolf. I thought one of you for ages. Sorry, buddy. He just like. Mm -hmm. So thank you to the autosave feature for saving just before I got blown up. I wonder how the people react when they just see the witcher who saved them all just sitting in the middle of the ground. Faster. <laughs> thank you. That's greatly appreciated that you're going to drink to my health. Genuinely is. Hmm. I like that all like the cotton, a lot of the really normal people of this area now. Like, not so much the people in the city. There's a few of them who really like me. But there's a lot of people in the city who just go, ah, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot of the normal people. You okay, miss? You're tormented. By what? Forgive me, but I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. I am a witcher. Not exactly. I'm a witcher. Quite a few folk think I don't deserve to be classified as a member of the human species. 
know some personally. A Witcher? But no. Nor can you help me. We'll see. Just tell me what the problem is. A foulness. A demon or wraith taunts me. A demon would have been awesome. Not probably rest. It wants something. I sense this, but know not what. Each day it appears, tarries, then leaves. It's here now, there, beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endured these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. What does it look like? This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Its hoof beats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs off. Ghost horse. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil contest. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing. Still my breath and heart. What's the brew made of? What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, jumper tub, dancing doula? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top? Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. Ah. I'd hoped a brew of Grey Top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Grey Top produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see hmm. evil. Better that than to know what is there. But not know where. I'll try to help. Why won't get fine? Oh, I don't feel like. Sure let's talk about there. me getting paid. Let's see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. Equine phantoms. Sure, I'll do this one. This one sounds like fun. Uh. Which your contract, I assume? Yep. Grant me one whole day's rest. I beg you. I'll see what I can do. What the hell? Okay. It's just a tame giant wolf with these two dogs. That's a big ass wolf. Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Hmm. Hmm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. A lot of dead moths. Medallions vibrating. Magic nearby. Just can't see a source anywhere. Then galloped into the woods. Hmm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. You okay, that puppy? Hmm. Where is it? I guess we go inside now. Flagellant's manifesto. I didn't realize Flagellant's had a manifesto. I'm going the long way, I already know. Flagellant my fellow sons of Dodo Lebiota. The end is nigh, mend your ways, put faith in God. Tom. Prophet has written to shun pleasure to flesh, shake the lady, yada yada. Need to use Flagellant's scourge to talk about the flesh show. Okay. Flagellant. Common grey 
top. Strong hallucinogen. Not extinct. I often get to see that. Yeah, it's pretty badass. Yet she managed to get something back from extinction. Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. I was wondering something if there was... drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Vampire of some description? There's a lot of vampires in this area, apparently. Witcher. Why are flagellant? Why'd you choose it? Flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs. To appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. That why you do it? We reach our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of Atmos. Yeah, fair enough. So got a wraith. Most likely some kind of wraith's tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak, spent lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites, of course. There are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present. Always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Hmm. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The great top. I shall make a brew of it for you. I have two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what Mushrooms can produce bad side effects. This mushroom, even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how Great Top would affect a mutated body. This is gonna be weird. Mm -hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance. It's to obvious that was gonna out. happen. This is gonna be weird. Come on. All right. High time we tried this. So some kind of wraith that drinks blood. A little weird. Or something at least invisible that drinks blood. Might not be a wraith. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it. <laughs> It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> that looks one of the most revolting drinks I've ever seen. Jesus, that did not go down well, apparently. Sometime later. What the fuck? Saying the amulet is vibrating is an understatement. See no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? What the fuck? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Why do you sound so manly? voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? As far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. <laughs> Fair? <laughs> Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. 
Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Why do you always show up when I whistle? Hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Still kind of strange how you cross the ocean when I call <laughs> you, but then get hung up on the tiniest <laughs> fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. <laughs> Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plant or small animals. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. These were left by an astral being. Or the world would. We gotta follow them. Can I talk to the wolf? Yes, I can! I knew it! Look! This here's definitely a clue! You've been to Zeragena? Ophir, have you been there? You've been to Zeragena? Weird wolf. In need of a song, so now. Or an epic poem, perchance. You look thirsty. Ooh, thirsty indeed. This is bizarre. Okay, cat. Lithia to keep you from hangovers too. To be happy about Dead not moths. getting hangovers. I mean, the phantoms nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizimo when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh, seriously? <laughs> what about you, cat? What are you telling me? All right, now I know what we're up against. Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. Some kind of wraith. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra? An Umbra. Actually makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, doofus. It's right over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's convenient. He's scared. It's getting away! Come on, Witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! There's the Umbra! Let's go, Geralt! After it! Hey! Gotta save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Geralt! We gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, twerk where I'm standing? Yeah, and it'd be great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern. And the innkeeper says, 
Hey, pal, why the long face? <laughs> Let's not lose sight of that Umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Rock Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I've heard. I don't recall that ever happening. Of course you don't. <laughs> Melted into thin air. Marcello Clerici, knight, died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all. Helps me focus. <laughs> Those meta quests I've ever seen in this game. Geralt, it's the Umbra! Attack! Let me explain! Okay. Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! Refuses to forgive me! I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing. Each day I come and beg her for clemency. <laughs> beg her for clemency? You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes, the monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. What the hell did you do? You and the Hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Oh. Yet she was always sad, nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village. Make us a better life elsewhere. Okay. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace. But Penastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. Hmm. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off. Said she didn't want to know me. Hush. When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Mm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an umbra. Shoot the horse. <laughs> 
Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I die, the power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Seems so. Same way I saw you. Hmm. What did you- yeah, what did you do? <laughs> Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you, would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I, I flogged it to death. Ah, she really likes animals. She saw this. Proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker and tossed me during a tourney. One I'd wanted to win badly. Finestri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, that peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me lose. Ah, lose. okay. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck until at last he fell. And that sent her over the deep end. Oh, the regret. I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. I'm not the one you should ask for forgiveness. Did she kill- I can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could? Please, I'd do anything. I'm but desperate. But your horse could. Help me. Noble mare, forgive me my sin. He's not really done that much. Could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. Cause that's how we horses are. Yeah, leave up to run. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster infested woods. <laughs> in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel. This is the weirdest quest I think I've ever done in a video game. That's really saying something. <laughs> All right then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost free from now on. Anything to add, Garo? Nope. Let's go see her. The fuck just happened? Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did, as if I'd been released from a cramped, dank cellar. I had come to belief no one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. I'm well aware Witcher's work for hire, for pay. But I've no coin, alas. I can offer only this. <laughs> Potatoes. A good crop this year. Sixty potatoes! Ought to thank my horse, actually. Phantom's departure, mostly Roach's doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path? 
Ride to the nearest notice board? Rustle up another contract? Exactly. No, effects of the bruise waning. I can feel it. I won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... <laughs> Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. I don't. Roach! Character entry Roach! Oh, damn it. I gotta read this. Roach! Found it with a lame hoover head to come back. When I let you talk, you got some bought to go and check on his horses. Still still shadow over the world. Do you ever admit it? They said, so perhaps this is where the first came to his head. Roach, where a buzz is said the name of another twitch to go. Knowing the curse of Roach Pike, toss him in the middle of the battle where she turns suddenly a different direction. Once to get a ride, it full gallop towards the edge of the station. Inter, very attached to her, never traded any other horse, save her one with. And someone would never understand how to see in front of the scene. The easiest amount of horse to cause it is a left fence, a straight piece of timber, not even one which would sometimes it compresses for fashion, wind up dancing under the peasant's roof. Well, can I always say with a shrug, which is always a normal animal, cause it contact with magic beverages inside the most for the mark. On complete contract to start, Geralt had the chance to find exactly how serious Rose took her role and how well was now kind of the witch's trait she was. Also discovered that it was instead a pleasant conversation partner. <laughs> no, don't load, save. That was one of the trippiest quests I have ever Oh, the quest reward was 60 fucking potatoes as well. Something in... <laughs> Something has gone very wrong go. in... in this world. I don't have any coin, I'm afraid, but I have only got to give you these. 60 potatoes. Why? I love that that was the reward for that weird as fuck quest. That was the weirdest quest line ever. Delaney's residence. Hmm. <coughs> oh, another person in distress. Okay. Gotta find a way inside. Assassin gear. It's cool the cat upgrades are like more damage to humanoids, right? Because they're the assassin witches.
<laughs> you shot his friend. Stop fucking shooting me, you little fuck. Just threw a punch. My soul cannot handle this. It simply cannot. Oh, yet Beoda's wounds. Hi. Calm down. It's over. I thank you, sir. And you must forgive me my momentary loss of composure. Are you in need of accoutrements, monsieur? Is Italy out of Frank's area, I guess, with the monsieur? What are you doing here? Fellow looks abandoned. You its owner? More its temporary steward. By order of the treasury minister, I am to serve as caretaker of Count Deloni's properties and estates. Oh, okay. The count is missing. Yet, no one at the palace warned me. Villa Fidet is the lair of bandits. That is to say, it was is no more thanks to your heroism monsieur richard i shame you was i have no idea what, what you said. have that you're willing to sell random crap apparently can i sell my 60 potatoes here sell that though because the raw meat can't be used as actual food so i'm pretty sure also if you eat a raw potato Thanks. it's so they're poisonous aren't they aren't raw potatoes poisonous Never know when I might need to come back come here on. later. If I ever decide to do all the Witcher gear contract things at least. Which I might do. Come on, Roach. Next. Still got a couple more. Oh, another base. Any last words? I was assuming there was a third one on here somewhere. Attacked this bandit military, essentially bandit military encampment on his own and killed the bunch. All the enemies to me. Damn it. 
What fighting actual witcher would be like. You get the occasional hit in, but. When there's like 20 to 1. <laughs> be this guy standing here after I just saw him do that. Is he trying to hum his theme song? There we go. 95% will do. Now that I've slaughtered a solid like 40 people. <laughs> Slash. armor that's why these ones actually survive because I'm not using armor piercing that's good to know I actually didn't realize that that these guys have way less health they just have armor sorry dogs Is wrong to govern the co Cooper's girl. Just half for him just fulfills that disconnect. What members of the merchant guild? Which of the Garrett River has the serious wrong to govern the Cooper's guild? What? When did I do that? particularly remember wronging a guild. That is the rhinestone. But how do I get around this? Because I'm assuming he's up there. Is there a ladder? It's just bodies everywhere. Ah, there it is. Hello. I'll dickle you with your own dinkling. No, Kaplan. I kind of wanted to beat him up. more fun. No. No, 
edge of the torch. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> See the guy, the, the the Witcher who just killed like 50 of your men beneath you. Just beat the shit. <laughs> just puts away his sword, cracks his knuckles, and beats the shit out of you with gauntlets. It's the same guy. I recognize him by his over enthusiastic expression and badass helmet. Witcher, a, a moment of your time, may I? Another reign of terror is under. Well, well. Starling Strakenoff, House Pam Titled Harlitzbrut, has bit the dust. May he rest in pain and agony. You've earned yourself a steep price cut here, Witcher. Thank you. Stragon ran across him already. Stragon. Name's familiar. Ran into him a while back. What's this? He, he must have been a horrible hound shaker. Decent folk don't bear that name. Can't say if that's true for all the Stragons, but this one sure wasn't decent. Met a bad end, too. Justly so. You carved up the knob copper. I knew it. Druids did it for me, actually. Burned him alive. Oh, no. <laughs> he does yeah. not like those people, does he? So what you come for offer? I can Show sell me what some. What you have on offer, will you? Oh, this is the weapons merchant one. Okay. Could use these actually. I'm not running too low on them, but it's best to have them. Yeah, all the crossbows and all the new tools and all, and all the swords. Are... Well, these swords are actually pretty damn good. But I'm happy with mine. And let's repair all equipped gear. Yeah, my armor doesn't take too many hits because I dodge pretty See well and heal. But you brought the hammer down on four fingers head. Yeah, I kill, I've killed every bandit leader, I think. Unless this last one's also a bandit leader. Which I wouldn't be too surprised. If I'm honest, to see it was another bandit. Let's go. He's like... Hey, you know every uh, bounty in the area that all the that is for all the knights. Yeah, I just did them all. You, you gave me this shall drag on too long. Hey, well. One of them. Let's ride. No, fight either. <laughs> uh, 
spitting me. There are mosquitoes in the house at the moment. I've gotten rid of as many of them as possible. Oh, that actually was a uh, thing. Drink! Give me a drink! <clears throat> yeah, this oh, is both just doing the same thing, isn't it? This is one of the few times that I don't think it's really worth doing the optional because the optional is go back and get your pay. Move. Where I could just go back and get the pay for all of them at the same time. Still the salt, Whoa, I think. Yeah. Roach. Huh. Good name. Gotta give it that. Another bandit camp. Oh, that's the silver basilisk up there. The nice one. Hidden treasure. Slower. I might as well see what's in there. Right? Oh, hello. I just got another quest. Hmm. I must be some treasure hunt. Read the captain's log. So few entries can be deciphered. I don't think it takes more land rats thinking they get a cock of the walk. Count Jean, this is what I'm put up prick with me calling. My sure shoes, my reputation, dad by a quick hefty pouch, enough kind of flowers on the table. Courage, mm. loaded ships and thunders, few cage. Over the sail, the word trade and striped horses of the Duchess. But trouble with this horse, the nose on the deck, look at these gone mad, and sure the tart clothes cage tightly fastens the creature as still the sun rays as a vampire. <laughs> Probably was a vampire. It's a cage, what good is it? The Duchess strike towards the good right at night, there's no comment with those tracks. The sea devil is no horse in that cage, but go over Shelmar. Okay! Rat chews his way through the deck, it was capsized a ship with a bottle. Of the head, but it gets right now. Play a pirate, I'll gather the lads to notice that we're to try to catch them off the inner. Oh, I am down for hunting other Shelmar. I mean, it's far away, isn't it? It's quite a distance away, so why not take a little detour and fight a shale ma? Uh, treasure hunt. <laughs> it wasn't far away at all. Another treasure chest in there. 
Oh, is that she ammo that I've already found? That is quite possible. This is good at Windrow, so underwater traversal, aren't they? Isn't burrowed fast enough to not drown? There he is. Yep. Shelma. No, I remember that attack. Thank you, shield. Boom. Down the giant armored rat thing. It's some type of like mole rat thing, right? Been eating people, evidently. Stole a treasure chest. Little trip to the surface there. Here we go. A witcher I have. I'm assuming it's a sword. Infuse lizard hide. Yeah, all the others require the previous levels apart from these ones. This is silver swords, right? Tario? That was the one, right? That was green, though. Is there a normal version? I'll get I'll just assume that it actually wasn't a green item, it was just a bronze. That's a point actually. I want to take a look at my sword currently. Um What's his current power up? Currently by thirty it goes up to a max of forty. Nice. Yeah, I don't think that any other sword really competes with this. Because the thing is, it's every time I hit an enemy, it also increases the damage. Temporarily. And then it's a permanent damage increase on top of that if I get the kill. 
So this thing will eclipse all the other swords, even if it doesn't say it does. That's my thinking, at least. We've got one more hour. Looking at the clock. Uh, for now, we can go get the... Uh, For doing everything. <laughs> hey there, Roach. Very happy that I got to fight another shell bar, though. Those things were kick ass in a brawl. <laughs> I was just debating wh why would you keep that it was a monster hidden, but it's like he would have gotten asked to be paid a lot more or would have just refused to do it if he'd have known that it was a shell bar off the bat. So, I guess that might kind of makes sense. It's also probably not a good idea to tell someone that you're transporting a monster. Quite a powerful one as well. Like one of the strongest monsters that I've encountered so far. Uh, into the city. Or into the country at least. Hello random bear. I don't want to kill you if I can avoid it. Let's go and get paid probably quite a bit. I wonder if it's a prediction. What what do I think is it, is gonna be the pay for doing fifteen quests and then turning them all in at once? I'm gonna go. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot less than I think. I think it's gonna be like ten grand at most. I think five grand is more likely, but it's not gonna be that much for the effort I had to put in. I just realised. Oh no, wait. Yeah, I know why. Because they didn't want anyone to see what it was. The Shilma are blind, so they would not give a shit. No knights brave enough. Of course we have, but bravery is not enough against the beast. Do that. Don't worry, I will be doing the beast quest after this one. I think I've exhausted all my. Uh, side quest that I actually give a shit about. <laughs> I mean, it's like there's the Gwent tournament and things, but eh. And I could go and look for the rest of the equipment, but eh. I'm good with what I currently got. Mostly. And the Mastercrafted Woven Gear is pretty kick-ass. Just the stats. I'm never going to use its abilities. I never use bombs. I wasn't really surprised that bombs is the thing on the woven gear. That was that was weird. That seems weird to me. A wolf, a wolf which is known for their use of bombs. I thought it'd be just a, comp, a straight up uh, fighting upgrade, but apparently not. The Ursine one makes a lot of sense. I think the feline one being more crit, the manticore one being poison is also... Like it makes sense. But the wit the wolf Wolf and one being bombs doesn't really make sense to me. <laughs> Again, I'm probably just not that knowledgeable about the witch. It's probably coming from just not being that knowledgeable about the Witcher series or that particular one. Now the fact I probably just don't use this bombs as much as I should. Clear. Thank you. Oh. Sorry, miss. Do you prefer to go by Geralt of Rivia or the Butcher of Blaviken? Well, I'm just going to get put you out of a job, so <laughs> you're allowed to be a bit salty, I guess. Greetings, Knight. I've heard reports of feats of great bravery. Thus, please accept this reward for your dedication. Wow, that was even less than I thought. Wouldn't mind.
mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. That was garbage. I got paid fuck all. I got a decent amount of XP though. I'll take I'll take the 300 XP. Well, That's kind of more worth it. Go in peace for a night. Do I have to feel like doing absolutely nothing? Because you do do absolutely nothing. You stand in a building literally every all day, every day. With lots of sisters. Roach, stop eating the plants. I'm pretty sure someone's going to get mad at me if you've eaten all the flowers. Okay, let's go meet Regis. Have you heard? Valentina and Coronado have partnered up to purchase their garden. Yes, I have heard. I'm the one that made him partner up. I've always dreamt of traveling. <laughs> Best cure for the beast, a witcher. Thank you. I am, probably. Well, actually, definitely, because nice I am. Time. Slow now. Whoa. Hey, ya. Reginald Aubrey has returned. Unbelievable. Not to be missed. Uh, uh, am I invisible? Now. Yes, you are invisible. You also look like a. You're also uh, apparently a like horse monster that gets talk that gets like forgiven by my horse. That was still the most bizarre quest I've done in a while in any game, and I've been playing Borderlands currently. And one of the quests in Borderlands is literally punch a guy in the face. That is the quest. Kill a game critic because he has a different opinion to you. That DLC was pretty fun. The talk DLC was pretty enjoyable. I've enjoyed uh, up to a point. I've enjoyed all the DLCs in Borderlands so far that I've done. Um, I've saved the Tina one uh, for second to last, or next to after. I'm gonna. It's before the one that I know is actually the last. Which is the after Tales of the Borderlands one. Which is the setup for Borderlands 3. Which I know that is the last Not one. Not so fast, Roach. So. I played that afterwards. Regis! Damn it. Locked. I got the place wrong. This is it. Gotta be. Gotta be another way in around here. Find a way into the crypt. Well, this is either gonna hurt like hell or gonna work. Hey, keep them on. Poisonous little bastards. What now? Fiddles are plenty around Another damage boost. Any more of these evil little fuckers? Game ones are really annoying, just because of the poison. To be honest. something here. Need to use the eye. Interesting. That's a sword. The 
sword any good? No. Where would it have been at the time? I've gained a few levels. <laughs> Agreed to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliche can you get? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Mm. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Deadlock wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Oh. Come on. Gotta be some way. Hmm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. And this? Could this help? Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out. Bruxa had taken an interest in it. Yeah, this is all right. <laughs> okay, there, buddy. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. The ring. What is Ring's this? pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen. And the ornamentation. It comes from our home. Where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here. Guests who owe their hosts meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely. And the reason why I in turn gave it to Detlaf. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Yeah, well. I'm assuming this is a no. Can't you just summon Detlaf? You're both higher vampires. There's got to be a way. If I'm to be entirely candid, there is indeed one. But believe me, we will be better off never availing ourselves of it. It is a last resort. Absolutely. Last resort? The hell. Why? Uh... There is a being who can summon Detlar. Possesses the authority, even the power, to force him to appear in a given place. But the very act of contacting this being... Well, it's akin to walking a slack line extended over a chasm filled with molten lava. An exercise as perilous to me as it would be to you. A risk I'm unwilling to take. I beg you, let's do it my way. It will be both quicker and easier. Okay, I'm down with it. <laughs> the hand. Some sort of demon or vampire lord, I'm assuming. Of theory of tissue memory retention. Hmm. Rings a distant bell. Read about it in Alchemia Obliterae. There's a copy of Kaer Morin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves... Arius never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it, just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research ah. and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. Neat. How's it work? We need any special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Covinaris gave a rather poetic name, Resonance. <laughs> Once imbibed, <laughs> it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. I'll talk to my this horse again. triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Hmm. Any chance we might see what Deadlaf was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. 
Though I also hope resonance will reveal the location of Dekloff's hideout. Yes, bro. Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guess correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. There's my moon glands, the closest ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. Rather not gouge <laughs> Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleuth this out ourselves, permit me to summon some help. Uh, less a vampire, I'm assuming. Just leave the hand on the table. It's probably not a good idea. Yep. The hand is going to escape. That's a cool raven. What was that? A raven? Rather a common sight at this latitude. Yeah. <laughs> Very intelligent fowl. I asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned. Him and his brethren. Perhaps they'll find one in the area, and I would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would. With all due respect to your skills, my friend. <laughs> it will take them some time, nonetheless. So, perhaps you'd care for a snicker of mandrake. Sure, why not? Rarely say no to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your Mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. <laughs> now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? This is a setup. So, think you've set a nice little trap for me? Sorry. Wanna get me to confess? Gonna have to try harder. <laughs> I love a challenge. In that case, my ears are cocked. What must I do? <sighs> How about you get the ball rolling? Reveal one of your secrets. Vampires, intriguing creatures, must lead fascinating lives. Anything in particular interest you? What's it like being dead? What have you been doing? what you did after you were reborn. As I'm sure you can surmise, at first I was thoroughly absorbed with recovery. As it is, I've still not recovered completely. Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand or move on my own. Yeah. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience. If not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingen. There, I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon, enjoying my neighbor's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Yeah. Bruges, you say? Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps, a dash. But what of you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Yes, I did. She's awesome. Back then, yeah. But we parted again soon after. And when the time was ripe, she came back. Defeated the wild hunt together. Ooh. Seems I certainly missed quite a bit while I was absent. True enough. But it's a conversation we'll have another time. Need to know more about you now. What's it like being dead? Gotta ask you the big question. One everyone wonders about. What happens after death? You wish me to tell you if the human belief in the gods is well founded. Well, that I do not know. We vampires differ exceedingly from you humans. Our matter, that of which we are composed, can exist without form. We require yeah. neither a heart, nor a brain, nor air to breathe. But were you dead? As humans understand death, yes. Feel anything? Understand anything? 
Mm. It's rather hard to explain. I felt something very unsettling. Something I cannot even name, for I did no reasoning. Only after rebirth did I begin to understand that what I had felt was cold and unimaginable fear. Hmm. If not for Detlef, I might have drowned in an eternity of icy terror. That makes sense. Can't have been alive then. Sheesh, experience like that must be vicious. Mm. Indeed, it's, it's hard to compare to anything I know. Yet you are aware we don't see death as you do. The way you cling to life, we find it entirely peculiar. You are mortals. Ergo, it's a foregone conclusion. You will die. It's but a question of time. Thus, I often find myself wondering why you try so very hard. To die at 20 years, 40, even 100, what's the difference? They're all but the blink of an eye. Yeah. Depends on your point of view. Man who's got a million crowns to spend can't possibly understand one who's only got 20. Very true. One's outlook can indeed change much. How are you handling abstinence? Got a new life, new body. That give you a new start, blank slate? Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction's not a risk I'm willing to take, just to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration. <laughs> carry over. Fair enough. Curiosity, that's all. Sorry. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity is a natural reaction under the circumstances, apart from which I've always valued that trait in you. What's regeneration like? Always fascinated me the way vampires can regenerate. A hand growing back is one thing, but Detloff recreating you out of a wet smear? Something else yeah. entirely. A difficult and laborious process, but one that's possible, as my presence proves. But, but I've heard you too had quite the adventure. They say you lost your memory. Yep. For a bit. But Triss helped me get it back. Actually, pretty damn lucky I only had amnesia. Yes, you humans are rather buggered in those terms. To strip you of life is, well, it's just plain easy. I've always pitied you in that regard. <laughs> we vampires are much harder nuts to crack. If a member of another race kills one of us, we can be reborn with a living higher vampire's help. However, if one of our own strikes the deadly blow, death ah. is permanent. There can be no rebirth. One of the chief reasons why vampires long ago swore never to fight one another. That makes sense. When your race can't die, apart from if one of your race kills you. Alright, give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say. But I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? Probably. See, Regis. Doubt I'd know how to be anything else. Ever tried? See, you're determined to get an answer. To find out if I like being a witcher. Just refuse to ask directly, as always. <laughs> Probably. I like being on the path. I like picking up a lead, a trail. I like the tension right before a fight. And nothing gets my adrenaline flowing like battling a beast. Even gotten used to people treating me like a freak, an outcast. Yeah, not something I think about much, but I like being a witcher. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of the very few. Still no sign of your winged friend. Sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. Cobbles are sentient in this universe, which is kind of cool. I do, I do quite like 
quite like the fact that Geralt doesn't like killing the sentient monsters. Unless they're, like, un unstable. Which I think is pretty much you look universal. In sleep. Quite vampire-like, in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? Appreciate the compliment. Appreciate the compliment. Got something for me? You were right. No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spot in Really? Way. It haunts an abandoned residence. Why is everything not extinct? Woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. What's this about a curse? Hmm. Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote. No more. Come on. Search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or, uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something... <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt, I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. <laughs> He's lived a while. A specimen of a species thought long extinct, and a curse in one place. That a coincidence? Or are they related? Ah, professional curiosity. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the White's saliva. Nothing beyond that. Anything else about the White? Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted White after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... spoons. Spoons? Yes, spare me the skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this news. Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Spoons. spoons are somehow related spoons. to the curse. Spoons! Okay. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. <laughs> <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So, <laughs> see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tones. Tones? Thought you were gonna make this decoction. We require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. Very soon. to you, my friend. He's like, hey, it's gonna be annoying to get this one, so I'll see if I can find something that works better. Or works just as well for not having to do that. More about spotted whites. Beastery, I'm assuming it'll be in Spectres again. Umbra. Shins? Probably claim it isn't the victor's time, but you'll probably get the victor's. Big ones of the group of this little cloud. Oh, those are completely visible. Jesus. Okay. Uh, but a spotted white. What? 
Do I not have a... Was it ethereal? Oh, it was that thing, okay. Oh, there it is. Spotted. What? They're in necrophages? Okay. Why? Well, stay calm, leave them alone. <laughs> what a white subscription of white. I thought it was a wraith of some description. Okay. They are larger than spotted kin, owe their names to numerous blotches of fusion. Spotted whites most often dwell in derelict cemeteries, empty wildernesses. They at times look to living abandoned human domiciles, judging their greatest passion, creating groups and more missions. Yuck. When not disturbed, spotted whites would not act aggressively. If threatened, however, they became very dangerous indeed. In the cold months, the face was an unreasonable chill, set the good state lethargy. They could be easy targets, even during the active periods, as witches found a surefire way of besting them. Face very careful, casting the Yodin sign, or at least the literature of your Igni and Yodin, fucks them up. So apparently there's a way to guarantee beating them with the Yodin sign. So that might be a, a decent, uh, in case of emergency. That actually scared the shit out of me. Point. Well, I actually got the damage on my silver sword now. 32 out of 40. I'm pretty sure I'll hit level 50 before my uh, before the main quest line is finished. It could be 49 at the next level. We should not. We should be literally at the end of this quest, I imagine. No, I'll cut you in half if you claim me to watch it again. There's a proper white. Got it. So whites, I'm guessing, are more like the whites in most things, where they're just really big, powerful, and dead type things. That's a very big pig. Bargeists. Greed, so I guess glutton is a glutton, or it's here because of some kind of weird feeding curse. Strange. Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. The spoons are talking to me. Okay. Get the hell out of here, mate. This isn't a spotted white, it's a demon. This is entirely possible. If I have to None fight, I will. sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Hmm. Is this 
someone's cursed, which is why Somebody's the white. Somebody's clearly there. obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look Maybe around. turned some. Someone got turned into a spotted white, which would explain why it's not dead. What a pigsty! Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. That'd be my guess. That someone's well, obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. No spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. It's a spoon. Spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. A spoon key. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. But it makes sense. Decaying letter. I love that the spoon key is a thing. The very example of a spoon used as a key. Gotcha. Decaying letter. Dear book, what the hell is this? Auction. Spoon key forged of the workshop belongs to this person. Okay. Check outlaw to pay of unusual assignment for you. No doubt you wonder I have drawn you out here. Why I cannot meet you in person. You see, present situation, kind of meeting is very risky. So much for me as for the person you might meet to cry with which by a curse. Whereas well, I hope it may turn to you. The side effects of medicine gives me this entire thing by a herbalist. Soon as I visit the herbalist, she disappeared without a trace. I just be wished to understand my illness. But I defined her. We do then much more to the medicine gave me. I'm suffering a vault. Result of a witness from the day of crime. The antidote assumes that I'm the world who will require your services. Because I'm suffering is not for the herbs, please let it go. I will then have a different task for you. Because I shall mean I am afflicted by a terrible curse which only gods can cure. Grief was cast upon a certain beggar who came manner while I was first to destroy my friends. Find that beggar and I will pay double. Sadly, I remember him as this old mip. Oh! Hello, going to Road Dim. Spoon, spoon, spoon. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. I guess. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Poison? Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Hmm. I'm assuming that is the spotted white. That someone is turned into a spotted white. That this isn't normal. Unless I guess that's how spotted whites were made. I don't fucking know. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. Another book. Stained diary.
prepared for today's significant spells and experience I like this before if it carries on although I start witchcraft and sorcery which is a list this is not going to work this is a drawing by page drawing by page C double is because you're pro to see the monster give you some kiss see that I had to drink twice a day it's not helping at all today like every day I looked in the mirror I've got four words I used to be checked out of wrinkled bags in my eyes but today there are no wrinkles but I have rather now where I have hair grown on what? Okay. He just damned a pair of several smashed up. Same, but his chambers were empty. He must have known what would happen to me and legged it. The family started to spec something other, cutting their hair back. They got faster and faster. Tried to pull out my head, couldn't go back any longer. Hopes lead to this cursed place where an old beggar chased off one time. I had to find out. I need to hire someone to find the herbalist. Can't think of what how to write. Loneliness in a family. Eat, I want to eat, not a good spoon, empty spoons, nothing, eat, it hurts. Mirror lies, no ah. Okay. Poor girl. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Smashed mirror. If someone couldn't stand to look at themselves, the monster. Journal's author, maybe? Okay. I hear like a Kikimora or something under here as well. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Now let's go to that like downwards looking area that I saw. Does seem like a white's lair. A bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Still a lot of spoons. Cauldron I was looking for. White's not particularly tidy. Let's explore the rest first, just in case. of them here. White's been a collector for years. Thousands of spoons. Jesus, it shows the entire floor is spoons. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. So I'm guessing now this is actually the correct way to go. So I think I have to do the cauldron first. And then go down the Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. White's obsessed. A real collector, thoroughbred. Table set. Oh. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. Hide in the cupboard. Take a look at this spotted white then. Weird looking beastie. A crown of spoons. She knows I'm here. 
Prolificus. If she attacks me, she attacks me. Then I'll kill her. Get the shit out of her, right? I'm not gonna hurt you. Wanna help? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. Really? Easy. I could kill you if you want. Tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. Okay. She can't talk. Right, words of the curse were none shall sit and dine with you at your table, no spoon you have shall say to you, never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. I want to check this because I want to do this properly. You can't see this, right? Yeah, move <laughs> this. My screen just turned like completely black on the on my Twitch stream preview, but apparently it's working. Yeah, I thought it was. Eat without the spoons. Not using the spoons. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Okay. I think she gets it. This would be revolting. Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. He does not look good. Was very poisonous. Yeah, gate it level. Worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. 
And I gained a level up, but I still want to put points into mutations, so... Need three ability points for that one. Yeah, let's follow the stench. Let's find the white. Thankfully for Geralt, he can tank a hell of a lot of uh, poison. So <laughs> the staircase and he slid down it. I was right about that particular bit, though. No. I looked it up on, I look. I did look it up, but I was literally like, I think it's telling me to do that, but I was wondering if I was being dumb, because I've done that a lot. Where I've come to a conclusion it's the wrong one. Ow, you little fucker. Okay, then. Easy. Not gonna hurt you. Eat. I, I must eat. You okay? Here's a loaf of bread. Okay. I'll take you someplace safe. It's going to a damn had to be. Evil bastard. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? He was cursed. Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom, an ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom ah. is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Yeah, just think he figured it out. Yeah, why not? Curses I'll tell it. tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons, and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that yep. come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. So, but most importantly, it is now over. Please don't worry, she will be in good hands here. Thank you. 
Go on, buddy. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. That poison fucking hurt. <laughs> it was literally, it was, it was like a weird sort of brew. And it was made with the thing that is literally poisonous enough to give you hallucinations. And that was very worth it. I got a couple of upgrades to my sword. Probably a fair bit of experience. Go, go. I've got to be a nice person. And I wonder if that'll... And I'll probably give a reward later, I'd imagine. As well. I mean, she's not dying. There'll be some sort of money reward or XP buff reward or something like that. Or an item. I'll be down with an item. Probably be completely awful and useless because it'll be like a sword or a piece of armor for a level that I surpassed a while ago. But you never know. That's the point. Has it gone up to fit? Has my sword gone up to fifty now? Max of fifty. Yep. Yeah, this sword is very rapidly just going to outclass pretty much everything else. As long as I keep getting kills oh, with it. His way to the hotel. I have no idea what she just said. Hey, uh. I'll do this last bit with Regis and then we'll probably call it. Because it's getting kind of close to nine. Now I've got the door open. Not killing the monster is quite often the way to get the best rewards. So. Think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. You clearly honed your sense of humour. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, with our Codex commands. Okay. The Raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Helpful creatures, Ravens. Pretty helpful creatures. Call on them often. I try not to overdo it. But they can be so useful, as they were now, when I merely needed to be sure I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed yeah. fine alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance. Mentioned a last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who <laughs> should be willing to help. Right, Regis? <laughs> it's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement. But, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. That stands to be very, very dangerous. <laughs> For me, I'm assuming. Dangerous? Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. But I should be highly agitated, in a state of fury. You know better than I that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? 
I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. But worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. How do you plan to induce the state? All right. So what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesham Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Okay, need to prepare. Little expedition starting to sound dangerous. Think I better prepare. I understand completely. Do tell me when you're ready to set off. Okay. Okay. Oh. Save. It's okay. Uh, I've got a feeling this is going to be quite a long little segment here, and it should be a lot of fun to start off with next time. So. So I've got time for today, because we are actually very close to the time limit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Have a fantastic evening and a fantastic weekend. Uh, if you are one of the people going to the Serenity Lap this weekend, hope you have a lot of fun. Uh, I'll be back on next Monday with some more Yakuza Zero, because that game is insane. Uh, and I finally figured out why I'm getting attacked by everybody constantly. So this should be a, that should uh, I should be able to assuage that little problem and be able to actually do shit properly. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. You keep playing video games, keep being awesome. You guys are still the best ones on Twitch. Have a fantastic evening, fantastic weekend. Good night. <laughs> you guys are awesome.